Okay, today let's have addition and subtraction of fractions. This is very basic. This is from our elementary lesson, but we can't really proceed with higher topics of mathematics without this basic knowledge in math, which is addition and subtraction of fractions. You will use this in rational functions, in your pre-calculus, and all, and all sub subjects of mathematics so let's proceed we have these steps you can solve or you can get first the common denominator rename your fraction proceed to the operation and then you simplify the final answer let's have our first example four nines or four over nine plus one half so what's the first step we have to get the common denominator or the LCD, the least common denominator. Why should we get the least common denominator? Dapat least for us to easier solve the problem because it is easier to solve smaller numbers than higher numbers. Kay, there are a lot of common denominator or common multiples between 9 and 2. Pero mas lisod man nato siya simplify if dagko na nga number atong gamiton. So, we, ha we should use the least common one. In getting our LCD, let's try first to list the multiples of 9 and 2. Let's start with 9. So, what are the multiples of 9? So, na kay 9, 18, 27, 36. So, let's stop there. And Let's try to find the multiples of 2. We can have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. You can continue listing the, common mul the multiples of 2. Pero, we have already found their common multiple, which is 18. So, kana na ato ang gamitun. Mao man ay pinaka list na common multiple sa 9 and 2. So, that will be your new denominator, 18. So, what's the next step in adding sa fractions? You have to rename your new fraction. Ngano i rename man para ang ato ang old fractions will still have the same values ato ang new fraction which is 18 na ang denominator nga ato ang gamiton so let's try to see what will be our new numerators so giunsa man nato pagkuha si 18 what did we do to this number which is 9 to get 18 so si 9 ato asyang gi times 2 to get 18 so kung unsay gibuhat na to ni denominator we should do that to the numerator ngano man for the value to remain equal or the same so kung si 9 atong gi times 2 4 should also be multiplied by 2 so that is 8 so this is your new numerator so let's proceed with the second one. So what did we do to 2? What did we do to your old denominator for it to become 18? So si 2 at 1 ni siyang times an ong 9 to get 18. So what you did to the denominator should also be done to the numerator. So si 1 should also be multiplied with 9. So that will be 9. So, that's your new numerator. If you're confused with this, this way or method, you can also use this way. Your LCD, what's your LCD? Your LCD is 18. So, say 18 divided by your old denominator, which is 9. So, 18 divided by 9, that is 2. So, you have your 2 times it with or multiply it with your numerator, which is 4. So, 4 times 2, that is 8. That is still the same answer. Next, let's have kaning pikas. So, 18 divided by your old denominator, which is 2. So, 18 divided by 2, that is 9. So, your 9 
multiplied by your numerator which is 1 so that is 9. So you can use either way. Asay masayun sa inyo ha. So let's proceed with adding na or the operation. Kay they already have the same denominator naman. So 8 plus 9 that will be 17 over 18. Next step is to simplify your answer or your fraction. Ma simplify pa ba siya? So if not, then that will be your final answer. 17 over 18. Let us have the next example, which is 3 over 10 plus 2 over 6. So just like the last example, their denominators kay different gihapon. So we have to find their common denominator or their LCD. So let's try to list down the multiples of 10. You can have 10, 20, 30, 40. So let's try to list 4 multiples per number. Let's proceed with 6. You can have 6, 12, 18, 24. So, they are the same, no? They have four multiples each, pero wala gihapon tay common one. Let's still proceed in listing. After 24, we have 30, 36. So, as we can see, we already have the multiples for 10 and 6, which is 30. So, sa unang, if sa unang listing ni mo, wala ni mo nakuha ilahang common multiple, then you can continue listing down their numbers. So, we already have our new denominator or our LCD which is 30. Next step is to rename your fraction. Let's proceed to this one, 3 over 10 first. What did we do to the denominator to get 30? So, si 10 was multiplied by 3. So, ang sayo yung buhat ni mo sa denominator should be done also to the numerator. If si 10 was multiplied by 3, your numerator, which is 3, should also be multiplied by 3. So, 3 times 3, that is 9. Then, this is your new fraction na. Narename na ni siya nga fraction. If you are having difficulties with this step or method, you can also use the most common method, which is to divide first your denominator or your LCD 30 divided by your old denominator 10. So 30 divided by 10, that will be 3. So your 3 multiplied by your numerator, which is 3, so that is 9. So let's proceed with the second fraction. So see 30, which is your denominator or your LCD, what did you do sa imuhang old denominator, which is 6, to get 30? So, si 6 was multiplied by 5 to get your LCD, which is 30. So, what you did to the denominator should also be done to the numerator, of course. So, si 2 should also be multiplied by 5. So, 2 times 5, that will be 10. Okay, so you have that as your new fraction. 10 over 30. If you're not comfortable with that way also, you can also use the other way, which is 2. 30 divided by your old denominator, which is 6. So 30 divided by 6, that will be 5. So your 5 times your old numerator, which is 2, so that will be 10. So you can use either way. So we already have the same denominator so we can perform the operation 9 plus 10 that will be 19 over 30 you have to check then for the last step which is to simplify your final answer could we still or could we simplify pa ba 19 over 30 so if not then that is your final answer 19 over 30 the same steps could be done in subtracting fractions. Maura na siya ang step. So, let's have this example in subtraction. 5 over 6 minus 3 over 12. 
First, let us find their LCD. You can list down their multiples or you can try to check the denominator in just one glance. You can find their LCD naman. But if that is difficult for you, you can list down their multiples. For 6, we can have their multiples 6, 12, 18. So let's try that first. 3 multiples for 12. We have 12. Pwede na ka, you will stop in listing down the multiples of 12 or you can continue pero naan naman nato, nakita naman nato ang ilahang common multiple. So let's stop there. So we have our LCD which is 12. How did we get 12? So 6, what did we do to 6 the old denominator to get your new denominator which is 12 so c6 was multiplied by 2 that is 12 what you did again to the denominator should also be done to the numerator para asagani para the value will still be the same walay mausob sa value so c5 times 2 that will be 10 so that is your new numerator if you have difficulties with this method you can try the other method which is your lcd which is 12 divided by your old denominator which is 6 so 12 divided by 6 that is 2 then multiply it to the numerator which is 5 so 2 times 5 that is 10 so this is your new numerator Let's proceed with the second dynamic, the second fraction rather. So 12, what did you do to the old denominator which is 12 to get 12? So 12 was multiplied by 1. So 12 times 1, that is 12. So the denominator was multiplied by 1. So the numerator which is 3 should also be multiplied by 1. So that will be 3. You can also use the other way which is 12 divided by 12 that is 1 times your numerator which is 3 so that is 3 and then you can proceed to subtracting na subtraction because they have the same denominator naman let's proceed with the operation which is subtraction so let's erase this one that was a mistake it should be subtraction 10 minus 3 that will be 7 over 12. You try to simplify your final answer. 7 over 12. So, di naman siya simplify. So, that is your final answer. Let's proceed with the second example for the subtraction. They still have the same with the first example. Wala yapon si lai common denominator. So, of course, we are going to find their LCD. If paglantaw pa lang ni mo sa LCD is you can get na their common denominator then you're fine but but if you have difficulties in finding their lcd you can try in to list their multiples so see 10 have the multiples 10 20 30 40 let's try four multiples first then proceed to four let's try to list four multiples for four let's have four 8, 12, 16. So, using 4 multiples, wala ihapon tayo makita na common one. Let's continue listing. After 16, we have 20. So, since we have found their common multiple, let's stop listing there. Para dili waste sa time. So, 20 will be your LCD. 20 20 okay so 20 divided by your old denominator which is 10 so 20 divided by 10 that will be 2 so 2 multiplied by your numerator 9 that is 18 so that will be your new fraction if you're having a hard time seeing anong 18 over 20. Let's try to have it. Unsa man, gipaunsa man nato si 10 to get 20. What did we do to our old denominator to have 20 as your new, new denominator? So 10 was multiplied by 2 to get 20. 
So, of course, what you did to the denominator, again, should also be done to your numerator. So, 9 times 2, so that is 18. Let's proceed with the second fraction. 20 divided by your old denominator, so that is 5. 5 multiplied by 2, that is 10. So, this is your new fraction. So, again, what did we do to 4? to get 20 so 4 was multiplied by 5 to get 20 of course you multiply the denominator by 5 your numerator 2 should also be multiplied by 5 so 2 times 5 that is 10 now that you're done you can get the final answer so 18 minus 10 that will be 8 over 20 is that your final answer could this be simplified so, if yes, you try to simplify it. So, 8 over 20 could still be simplified. What number can you divide 8 that you could also use to divide your denominator, which is 20? Okay, you can use 4. So, 8 divided by 4, that will be 2. 20 divided by 4, that will be 5. So, you have this as your new fraction or your simplified fraction 2 over 5 or 2 fifths so that is your final answer and now we're done with addition and subtraction of fractions i hope you can use this basic knowledge in math so you can proceed with the other topics in mathematics that's all thank you